A change to the state law grants new powers to school districts, allowing them to look past seniority when hiring teachers. The new rules have taken the rulers out of the hands of more than 400 teachers, some who have spent more than 20 years with the district. I feel like I'm an asset to DPS, and it seems like uh, they just threw me away. I feel like I've, I've been thrown away. The issue at hand is not the number. It is the manner in which this was done. The union says the district should have asked for a one-year waiver and used seniority this year so that it could get the process right. That defeats the purpose and the goal and the opportunity that was given us by the legislature to, to not use seniority. The two sides disagree on the process. DFT says it was not invited to be involved, but the district says that's untrue. Regardless, the union says the evaluation process is flawed and is now preparing to file a lawsuit against DPS. This will still be the most comprehensive and massive lawsuit ever filed by a teacher's union against the school district that it works with. It's a long process. It's a complicated process. Has it been absolutely perfect? Of course not. It's a big process. It's in a first year. Mr. Roberts will be the first one to say that we need to make sure that systems are put in place next year so it continues to be smooth. The union is waiting on information from the district, including reasons for individual layoffs before it files a suit. But if it wins, its president says it will request that all teachers who are unjustly laid off be placed in the district. It would unfortunately result in a chaotic school year. From the News Center area, Smitha Koloki, 7 Action News.